Hi, JD here from uh, John Dwyer. Uh, I get JD though for the John Dwyer, okay. Here from the Institute of wow.com. Uh, I've just ducked into my garage to, because there was noise happening in the house, as there is always noise happening in our house. And I just thought I'd uh, mention to you, if you're a business owner, that you might like to hear this story. It's a gripping story, stick with me. Um, it's all about selling once to many. And uh, I learned this probably half a dozen years ago, and I wished I had learned it in my early days. Um, it's the Anthony Robbins model. You know that Anthony Robbins does not go out and talk to one or two people very often. What Anthony Robbins does is that he actually has, uh, I don't know, three, four, five, ten thousand people in a stadium and then he talks to them. Uh, I'm not quite at that level, but uh, I thought I'd uh, just encourage you, if you're doing onesie twosies, in other words, going to have meetings with people, particularly if you're in the service game, which is what I'm in, I help businesses uh, get more leads and uh, hopefully make more sales and they do that through what we call direct response marketing. Yesterday I was speaking at a conference and that conference was a, uh, was a medical industry conference and uh, I was speaking for 70 minutes and there were uh, 80 odd people in the room and as it turned out I teased them by offering them a, one, of my, one of my online products uh, free of charge if they wanted to fill in a form that was sitting on their seats so obviously that way I'm actually getting a database. And then I said to them, if they were interested, this was at the end of my 70 minutes uh, sort of presentation on stage about how they could actually uh, improve their business and how they could get more leads via Facebook and via Instagram and so on and so forth. Um, I told them what my private coaching program was all about. And uh, I want to show you something to prove to you that selling once to many makes a lot of sense. Uh, I said that if they're interested in my private coaching program, which is, you know, a, a few thousand dollars a month, uh, I said, uh, let me know, and uh, we can talk to you further throughout the week. Now, this is what happened. Let me just show you what happened, okay? This is the forms that we handed out, and uh, we had 80-odd people in the room, and this is 31 forms, 31 of these, okay? I've, if you'd like a consult call with me throughout the week, pick Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and as it's turned out, we've got 31 of those forms. 31 of those forms were filled out. Uh, I counted them quickly after the conference presentation yesterday and I thought perhaps there was about 20 odd, but there's 31 of them. And all of these people had voted, don't to look at a motor car, uh, all of these people had voted pretty clearly that they're interested in private coaching. Um, now, I don't know how many of them are going to get, come across the line. I suspect there's a good chance that I might be able to get 50% of those people across the line because they, there was a cocktail party after the event and all of them came up and uh, basically tapped me on the shoulder and said, look, can I have the call earlier in the week rather than later in the week because we want to get this thing started. Um, that came from sell once to many. It didn't come from me actually uh, having a onesie twosie meeting with one or two people. And you have to think about, particularly if you're in the advisory business, and I'm talking about you know accountancy, I'm talking about business coaching, what I do is marketing coaching, of course, uh, anything in the advisory business. It could well be that you're an architect uh, and you want to talk to people with regards to making renovations to their homes. Think about the one, what I say once to many, would be what I did yesterday, where you speak on stage in front of a bunch of people. There are other versions of it. You're watching one right now, right now. Now, there might only be half a dozen, 150 or 250, and by the next day, it might be 500 people. That's called sell once to many. And uh, I happen to prefer Facebook Live these days. I must say that that's so easy because I can just walk into my garage like I am now. By the way, this is our track. I wouldn't know what to do with that, okay? It happens to be my son. Uh, he knows all about, give me one second. Uh, he knows all about this stuff. I would cut my what to do with those. I am the handyman from hell, okay? I'm the handyman. I don't know why I just sort of in a self-deprecation sort of way, bag myself out. I'm the opposite from MacGyver, by the way, so it's really weird that I should be doing a video from my garage. There's not many manly things in here that I wouldn't know what to do with. But anyway, the thing is also, if you are going to sell once to many and you're able to get, you know, these sorts of forms, thanks Otto, uh, uh, if you're talking about a revenue, scale, a revenue model that makes sense, it's Netflix. Guess what Netflix have done? They've got all of us paying, let's say, $15 a month, no matter how many movies we watch. Now that's a fantastic model. The health funds have been doing that forever. The health funds have been doing that forever and so has Telstra. And smart, I believe it, every time I do one of these Facebook lives, I get a phone call. That's why that just jumped in. I'm sorry for that. It's just that I'm so popular. That's all. I think that was Pace. God, a confession with him. I could be in there for an hour or so. Uh, so look, the thing is, is that uh, the, uh, the Netflix model is all about putting people onto a regular monthly payment system. And I had someone on the phone with me today, yes, on a Saturday, 
funny what you do when you're a consultant, but uh, on uh, this morning on the phone, uh, this particular person is launching a business in the tea business, okay? So therefore, they're going to be launching quite a prestigious tea product, way above Twinings. And uh, they were talking about these are coming, going to come in prestigious collector-style uh, tins, and I've looked at them, the packaging is absolutely brilliant, it's Palazzo Versace multiplied by two. And they said, uh, look, what do you think we can get for, for this? Because we're thinking of selling, you know, one tin, which would last you perhaps maybe for three weeks if you're a tea drinker and you have a couple of cups a day. Um, yeah, we were thinking of charging, I don't know, 20-something dollars. I said, no, 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 set up a Netflix model. What you need to do is consider marketing this by having the lady who's going to be running the business uh, have a, 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 an Oprah-style Ellen setting create a number of 30-minute webinars whereby you would have two or three other women around the, uh, the little coffee table. You'd have the best you know, sort of uh, uh, crockery you could possibly have, bone china, cups and saucers, beautiful tea with a high tea and scones and jam and everything. And you would actually be marketing on Facebook and Instagram uh, that you're inviting someone to come to a high tea. And what they do is click through to a webinar. You wouldn't believe it. Can you believe this? I'm doing, uh, I'm doing Facebook Live and we live in a rural sort of area and the guy next door has decided to start up the biggest lawnmower in the world. You watch, a helicopter will come along soon, I'm sure, and a fire engine. Uh, so anyway, uh, these people thought that was a fantastic idea. I said, look, create the View TV show like they would have, you know, you've seen it on TV with Barbara Walters and I think Channel 10 here in Australia have got one. Where well, you've got two or three ladies uh, around a table and what they're doing, I'm going to get out of here by the way, I'm, I'm moving out of here. <laughs> You, you wouldn't believe it, would you? Whenever you do a Facebook Live, then the guy, you wouldn't believe this guy. Oh no, what's going on? Are you still doing Facebook Live? I do lives? Facebook Live, but I just went outside to do it and the guy next door set up his lawnmower, so yeah, anyway. Uh, so therefore, look, what I'm, uh, what you, this particular lady said to me is that, look, yeah, look, I'll turn around, the light's wrong that way. Um, yeah, she said to me, look, that's great. And she said, I, I don't know how good I'm going to be on, you know, TV. I said, doesn't matter, just run your own little, uh, webinar that might go for 20 or 30 minutes and what we'll do is that we'll shoot a number of them and the ads on Facebook and Instagram will drive traffic to your little high tea. We're going to call it a high tea and you can just imagine her with her girlfriends around the table uh, having sips of tea and scones and jam and so forth and then what they're going to do is uh, invite you to go into a Netflix model for their tea. So in other words, you become part of the high tea program and you sign up for a monthly instalment and you get X boxes or tens of this little tea each month. That's the way, because I said, then you're not selling one lot of tea. You are selling a membership into a high tea club. Um, tell me if you think that's clever, okay? Give me, a, a, I don't know, whatever you do, an emoji heart down below, or maybe a, a like, JD, or JD, you are so clever. Something to blow wind up my ass, because I'm actually quite happy about that, because I have got an ego. Uh, Gar, can I just ask you, um, how, often, how often do people blow wind up my ass? Uh, all the time. All the time, that's right, okay. <laughs> and it's because I'm so unique and I'm so humble that one of my greatest assets, I think, is my humility. Uh, so anyway, look, enough of that. I'll leave it at that. But yeah, uh, number one, uh, sell once to many. And number two, make sure you consider a Netflix revenue model because that means you get money every month, not just when they feel like actually buying the product or service from you. Want more of this stuff? Then you can see the two links above. You can either go and have a look at a 60-minute webinar with all of this direct response stuff multiplied by 10. This is just a couple of ideas. And uh, also, if you wanted to book a call and talk to any of our team about you getting help from us, um, like the 31 people from yesterday's seminar did, uh, then just simply click the other button up there, which is, what is it, bookawowcall.com, and you'll get to talk to one of my lovely wow people. They're all wow, okay? Over and out, have a good rest of the Saturday. I think we're going out for a bite to eat somewhere. I said to Gail that she's been such a wonderful wife uh, to me over many, many thousands of years. I'm taking her out for uh, dinner. It's a drive through but hey, that's the best way I can show my love. Thanks for all those likes. Good to know. Please comment below. Uh, before I go, please comment below and tell me whether or not you uh, have got a Netflix model, or whether you think you can turn your business into having a Netflix model, and whether this has been some assistance to you thinking about uh, Sell Once to Many. The more comments below I get, then the more likely Facebook's algorithm will kick in and uh, show this video to more people. It shows it to more people. Uh, more people then spend more money with me. I get rich and I buy an island. Um, so that should be on your agenda to help me buy an island. That is my aim. I don't think it's an outrageous aim. I just want to do that sometime in the next month. Okay, have a good weekend. All the best.